I'm Dr. Grant A. Fairbanks, board certified plastic surgeon, and I've been in practice for 17 years. Every year I teach the art course at the Aesthetic Society's national meeting. I take the artistic background into the operating room in order to obtain what I feel are the best results. Some of the specialty procedures I offer are the facial plastic surgery, such as facelifts. There are the mini lifts or the skin lifts, and then there are the intermediate or standard lifts, which is pretty much standard care across the country. And then there are the deep plane facelifts, which goes a little deeper and delivers a more natural and longer lasting result. We also offer nose surgery, such as rhinoplasties. With a regular rhinoplasty, that is a primary rhinoplasty, no previous surgery, no injury, that's where we rearrange some of the cartilage and take down, say, the bump on the nose. And we'll also do the work on the inside to straighten the septum and open the airway. With secondary rhinoplasty, also known as revisionary surgery or revisionary rhinoplasty, this is a little more challenging. The anatomy isn't like you would expect. Often parts are missing, and that's where we have to think about whether or not we want to use cartilage from the ear. Sometimes we have to use cartilage from the ribs and reproduce all the anatomic parts of the nose. But in the end, the goal is, again, to have a nose that not only looks good, but breathes well. We also offer ear surgery, pinning of the ears. From the ears that stick out, we do a, an incision from behind the ear, rearrange the cartilage, pull it back into a more aesthetic position. Heals up very nicely. I've had older patients come in who say, you know, my parents did braces for me, and that was great but I wish they would have also helped me with my ears. With other procedures, for example, are the eyes. We call it a blepharoplasty, and that's where we take off the extra skin of the upper eyelids and of the lower eyelids. It will help the eyes look younger, but sometimes for people who've had a lot of extra skin, it helps them to see better. We also offer breast segmentation, and it's one of the top procedures that is done not just nationwide, but worldwide. So there are two main approaches to breast augmentation. One is with implants, with either the silicone gel breast implant, the other is the saline implant. But the one gaining momentum is the fat grafting or fat transfer for breast augmentation. This is where we take the fat from the belly, the hips, the thighs, and put it in the breast. I offer other types of breast surgery, such as the breast lift and the breast reduction. I also do the tummy tuck or abdominal plastic. Often people call this the nip and tuck, and it is a procedure where people think, oh, it's just cosmetic, when in fact it helps with the function. So what will happen is with either childbirth or obesity, the rectus muscles, your six-pack muscles, they'll separate. We call that a diastasis. So when we do the tummy tuck approach, not only do we take away the extra skin and some of the stretch marks, we take those six-pack muscles and put them back together and we can increase the core strength and sometimes improve back pain with that. The tummy tucks that we do for men, and tummy tuck is also known as abdominoplasty. These are typically men who've lost a lot of weight and have the excess skin that's hanging over. Well, one of the other keys about a tummy tuck is not only having uh, a good scar pretty well hidden and uh, also make a belly button look like a belly button. Again, giving a more natural appearance. The one thing we do is every procedure we do is individualized for the patient and we approach it just for them and we go over all the factors to include all the safety factors too. I like to treat people the way I'd like to be treated or have my family treated. So I want my patients to really understand what it is that we need to do for them and I like to give them options. To learn more about the various surgeries, we just finished this online consultation where I reviewed some of the specialty procedures that I perform. And for a limited time, you can book a free consultation. I look forward to meeting you, answering all your questions, and see you soon.